Feeling is the secret. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you do it? How do you feel like you have something like being a millionaire when you're not? Well, today, that's what we're going to talk about. Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today we're going to talk about chapter one of Neville's book called Feeling is the Secret. So if you haven't already subscribed, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon below because I do put out new videos every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, each one of them designed to help you create something wonderful in your life. So um, I was reading Neville like I do uh, the other day and um you know, I was reading the the feeling is the secret, and in chapter one of that book, Neville talks about how feelings will impress on our subconscious mind, and that's how we create. So I wanted to talk a little bit about that today, and um, you know, and and what that really means, and how you can actually do that. Because some people are like, and I mean, I know I was like this at first. I was like, well, how do I feel? Like, what, you know, like how do I feel these things? You know, like I want a million dollars. How do I feel like I have a million dollars? You know, I want to be married. How do I feel like I'm married when I'm not right now? Right. So, um, the one important thing is to understand is that. Our thoughts create our emotions. And I've mentioned this in previous videos. If I was to tell you a joke, you would find it funny and you would laugh. So that's a perfect example of how our thoughts create our emotions. Or take, for instance, Jerry, right? If Jerry, you know, says, well, you know, I don't like your hair today, right? And then I create, you know, thinking, oh, you know, like, oh, he's like, he doesn't like me. He thinks I'm ugly. Well, then that's going to upset me quite quickly, right? So, you know, our thoughts create our emotions. So our thought is the key to creating our emotions. Okay. So a big part of creating is controlling our emotions and mastering our emotions. Like Neville says, now, how do we master our emotions? How do we control our emotions? How do we create feelings of things that we want? We do it through a mental diet. Okay. Now I personally use intentions, but I mean, you don't need to use intentions. I mean, you can use affirmations or just positive statements, but we do it through our mental diet and our thoughts. Okay. Because really, honestly, if I was to say to Jerry, look at, you know what, what are you doing on Friday night? And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm busy. And I'm like, oh, he's going out with another teddy bear. That's it. You know, all of a sudden, you know, if I keep down that train of thought, I'm going to feel jealous, angry, upset. I'm going to feel like I'm not good enough. I'm going to feel rejected. Okay, because of the thoughts that I'm holding. Okay, so now if I was to look at it and be like, well, you know what, I kind of had a feeling that Jerry was going to be um, busy anyway, feeling meaning I had a thought he was going to be busy. <laughs> right? Um, you know, and then and then I say, well, you know, I mean, okay, it doesn't mean necessarily that he doesn't want to be with me. It's empty and meaningless because I created him to be busy. That thought right there will actually stop us from reacting and, and being upset. So we want to control our thoughts and our mental diet to be able to stop us from actually reacting to things in our reality. So once we stop reacting and we do that with our thoughts, then we can start controlling how we feel. And with the mental diet, as you persistently assume with your mental diet, what ends up happening is, is say if you're feeling a lot of anxiety or frustration around a situation, okay, as you start changing those thoughts, you start to feel better and better and better. And eventually you get to a neutral place, okay? And then once you're at that neutral place, you're gonna start to see, even before that, you'll start to see things start to manifest, okay? Because remember, signs always come after. OK, not before. OK, so you'll start to get, you know, partial manifestations and things coming in. And then you, as those things start coming in, you'll start to feel like it's happening. OK, so let's say, for instance, you know, um, with say, you know, you're manifesting a million dollars. OK, and you're doing it through, I don't know, like this one, you know, business channel or something. Right. And so as you keep intending, 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 and then you keep getting more and more money and more and more money that comes in. And eventually you start to go, OK, you know, I, <laughs> I've got this like it's a belief now. Of course, I always make this much through there, you know, because you start to see the evidence and you start to to see it come in. And then that's when you really start to get the believing. So 
it's very much a process within us, okay? So we can start from anywhere. I mean, you can start from feeling frustrated or anxiety, and then you keep your mental diet up, things will start to manifest. And as things start to manifest, you start to believe it. And as you start to believe it, you start to really feel it as real, okay? So it's not that you have to feel it right away like a millionaire, okay? Or right away like you're in a relationship. You take those little steps and you keep creating those intentions and keep staying on your mental diet, and you start to get to the point that, you know, from where, oh, he doesn't want to be with me to wait a minute, he's phoning me. Hold on. He asked me out Friday. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe this Jerry doll likes me. Right. And because you're all the way through as you make those little manifestations, you're going to start to feel it more real, feel it more real. You know, and, and I realized that, you know what? you know, sometimes creating intentions, they feel like a lie. Well, guess what? You know, every your reality is your consciousness is your thoughts inside your head. So guess what? Everything's a lie until it manifests. And we're creators. So as creators, we create from nothing. So yeah, you know what? Everything in my goals book that hasn't manifested yet, it's a lie. <laughs> But guess what? It's going to happen. <laughs> okay. So, you know, we create from nothing. Okay. So if we need something already there for us to prove that it's going to happen, then we're not creating anymore. We're reacting. Okay. To what we've got. So remember, we're creators. We create from nothing. If you can think it and, and, and want it and think about wanting it, then you can absolutely have it. And how you get it is through feeling. And remember that your feelings create. So if you're creating frustration and anxiety, guess what? You're going to get more of that back from your situation. So get on your mental diet and start creating a neutral feeling. And once you start creating that neutral feeling, manifestations are going to start coming through in that area. And then you're going to start to believe it. And that's when it's, you know, it's going to fully be realized and happen. So like I said, it's a process. It's a journey. You know, it's not like we, you know, meet Jerry on the first date and we're like, ah, we're married the next day. Right. You know, we, he phones me, I phone him. We ask me out, we start to build up that relationship. And then before we know it, you know, after a few months, we're like, ah, that's it. We're totally together forever. <laughs> He's never going to leave me. Right. Because you've got enough evidence and proof that followed your, your mental diet and your intentions that have come true that you get down that path. Right. Anyways, yes. And the other thing is, you know, guys, be easy on yourself. You know, the thing is, right, it's a process. It's a journey, you know, and, um, you know, and as long as every day, you know, you're you're changing something, catching something and looking to make an improvement somewhere, then you're doing really, really great. So go easy on yourself. OK, anyways, that's my video for today. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. And we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.